All right, everyone. Here we are. It's a really nice night here. It's probably in the 70s, which is uh, not bad here for for late October. You can see these pigs are growing well. There's Big Joe getting a drink. And uh, I'm nursing a cold here. So if you hear the nasal, that's what it is. I was uh, working out in the rain the other day. And man, I think that and just the temperature change kicked my butt a bit. So we're, uh, we're getting through it. Today was a good day. We had two trucks go out at uh, about 4.45 this morning. One truck uh, went out to Long Island, hit a bunch of stops, Great Neck, East Northport, Port Jefferson, Port Jefferson Station, East Islip, Long Beach, Melville, Garden City, all over the place. And the other group went out by Albany, so uh, the capital region of New York. So it was a good day. We delivered, um, man, I want to say it was probably close to four cows in total so we um we definitely are filling freezers in the tri-state area here and we do have a whole cow getting shipped out to illinois on monday or tuesday of this week so we uh we're moving the beef we're moving it around and we're getting it uh into the hands of customers who are looking to fill their freezers for the winter and this is our busiest time of year i mean we are uh we're now booking three weeks out and usually we're we're you know booking week to week but now we're we're three weeks out and probably soon to be four so it's a good sign that people are really looking for freezer beef people are looking to to stock their freezers we got a ton of pigs that are going to be going into so if you guys are looking for whole pigs half pigs or quarter pigs you know we're going to be loaded up there too so we uh we're feeling really good about that and you know it uh, takes time to get to that point. It's definitely not something we uh, kicked off, uh, you know, doing. We didn't kick off at that level, but, um, you know, this year we're, we're on pace to, to move quite a few cows and quite a few pigs. So, so it's really exciting to see um, just how well received everything is and, and how, um, you know, people are starting to think. They're starting to think about their food. You know, where does my food come from? Uh, how do I not buy from the grocery store? How do I take a little bit more control of my food supply as opposed to um, losing control of that food supply, I guess you can say. So, I mean, even today, I, I, had, a, I had a ground chicken burger and uh, man, it's just, the taste is amazing. Um, just, you could actually taste the chicken. You know, you go to restaurants today and you, you get chicken, you, you almost forget what chicken tastes like. Look at these little punks. Because, you know, chicken has just become a texture. It's the texture of chicken, but there's no real taste. And we've gotten, unfortunately, used to that in this country. Just sort of, this is the texture of beef, but I don't really taste it. This is the texture of pork. This is the texture of chicken, but you know, all these meats are supposed to have very unique tastes that taste good and that, you know, you, you'll, you'll want to eat more of. So that's just what we're trying to do here. So you can see all these pigs are getting bigger and bigger. My only fear is if you guys don't buy uh, your, your pork from us, we're going to have too many pigs that are ready to go. That's my greatest fear, but that's a good fear to have. I don't think it's going to be the case. I think we'll do all right. And you can see these pigs. This is our next group um, that's getting ready to go in, and they just love this mud, man. They love it. So they're all they're all doing good, and uh, everybody's just crushing, I guess you can say. We got a bale in there for them. They're eating that down, and that's what we got. So I talked about this in one of my previous videos. Uh, that you know, look. You know, we all aim for perfect, but unfortunately, we can't get there as fast as we want. You know, like our facilities, look, these facilities were good when we started. We've totally outgrown the facility. So now we have to start thinking, all right, what do we want to do here? Do we want to start putting new buildings up? Um, what, what do we want to do? Or do we want to start buying more land and finding more farms that fit our current profile? Um, still, obviously, keep this farm. 
but think about maybe there's a uh, an opportunity maybe there's a need for us to to expand the operation then the tough part is how far do you go from your home base and what's available um, in your hometown and that's that's the next question that we have right big girl right that's one of our sows so again these are all decisions that we have to make or do you you know say hey i'm actually going to condense our operation and i'm going to rely on some really good partners to help us grow and and that's an option too you know we're starting to see uh is it possible to grow um you know everything here and i don't think the answer is is yes just because it takes time to get a pig to full size it takes time to grow chickens and if we're selling five to ten thousand chickens and we could only grow ten thousand chickens um you know how are we ever going to get to fifteen thousand chickens if that's what the demand shows itself for so these are all things that hey franny that's franny she's one of our original sows hey girl she's very pregnant um, but she's always been a good mom so all stuff that we have to think about in in the planning phase because you know if you don't plan with this thing all of a sudden it sneaks up on you so we really got to be always planning for what we're looking to do here and you know planning um obviously it takes time and it also takes a, a capital um a certain level of capital to do it too right and i'm saying yeah we'll just you know put up a building well you, know, you start putting concrete floors in you're looking five ten thousand plus dollars just for the floor that doesn't include the structure the structure is the easy part so now you start saying all right where where are we going to give up some land to do that and then that becomes the next question so everything has a catch to it and that's that's what i found can be a little bit draining with farming right you have this like ideal situation in your mind and what you'd like to have happen and then you start thinking about the logistics you start thinking about the financials you start thinking about all of those things you start thinking about time weather like if we're gonna put a concrete pad down, we only have maybe another four to six weeks to do it, or else the weather's gonna turn and we can't do it until the spring. So all these decisions, you know, uh, have to be made, you know? We may have to do, like, I gotta get some stone dropped in here to, to lift us up so we can handle the winter and the tractor passing through, et cetera. So again, all decisions that have to be made. So. You know, like I said in the previous video, do we want to be more, but more better than we are now? A hundred percent. Can we do it tomorrow? Absolutely not. And and that's the unfortunate part because we're frustrated too. We get frustrated as well. I think in life we all want to be a little bit bigger than we are. We all want to be a little bit uh, thinner than we are. We all want to be a little bit richer than we are. And you can see all those. Late night infomercials have uh, definitely tapped into all of that, those sensations and feelings. But, but ultimately, with all this stuff, it just takes a lot of planning. And as long as you have a vision and the desire to keep pushing and to keep going forward, you know, you can find a way to do it. You know, um, when Greg Judy was here, we were talking and we said, look, we're going to first put our money in our animals. That's what, uh, that's what we're going to do first. We're just gonna put our money into our animals and get the the animals going. And to his point, he's like, look, let the animal sales build your farm. And that's really what we've been doing. And like looking at this barn, it's a nice barn, but it's an ugly barn. So we'd love to make it prettier and you know, structurally it's good, but we're not there yet, right? Uh, making your facilities pretty is uh, down the line because we gotta make sure that the farm is functional first. So it's function before beauty uh, in the farming world. So that's kind of where we're at. So again, it just takes time and, and it takes patience because anything that takes time will also take patience. And you gotta be patient and uh, you gotta do what you can do. You gotta stretch a little bit, but if you stretch too much, we, uh, we say you could get your nuts chopped off. So you can't stretch too much and we're right where we need to be right now. And again, I, I know some folks jump on here and they got all the answers and they have all the ideas and we embrace what you say and we embrace what you hear, but we just can't do everything at once.
right? So as perfect as we want to be, we can only be what we are right now with the intention and the efforts to get better. And that's really what, I guess that's what it's all about in life, right? Just get a little bit better every day. Always be looking at everything and saying, where can we be better? And go from there. But I, I, I'm very happy with where things are at right now for us. Um, and and uh, we're just going to get better. <laughs> like I said, if we can secure more ground and we can build out some facilities and things like that, you know, our calf crop will be that much better. Um, and we'll just keep getting better and better. You know, we're only about three years into this journey. So you got to remember when we took this over, there was nothing here. No animals. The, the land was untouched, overgrown. The facilities were eroding. So to bring a farm back to life takes a heck of a lot of work. And to, to develop this into what it's become in a short period of time is, is, uh, is fantastic. So you got to focus on the positive and that's what we try to do. And just get a little bit better every day. So that's our message today. I hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you have a great day. Have a great night. Have a great life. We'll talk to you soon. If you want some pork, we got pork. We got chicken. We got beef. And uh, let's make meat great again together. Give us a, a like. Give us a thumbs up. Leave your comments below. And for me and the pigs, we'll see you later. See ya.